What's up, Grunts? Today, I got a quick video. I want to share my experience with uh, another broker game that uh, is played often out here, and uh, just to bring awareness to anyone else out here booking their own loads, and uh, you know, put my two cents in there about it. So that's what the uh, thumbnail is about: like Hunger Games, Broker Games. Let me know if you got that. But uh, so today, this morning, it is Monday, the thirty-first. Happy Halloween! So this morning, I was, you know, every morning I do the same thing. I wake up, piss excellence, and then start looking for loads. So I was sitting there, booking loads, or trying to look for a load out of uh, the rest of my week. Like I had Monday to Tuesday planned. I found something Wednesday to, sorry, Tuesday to Wednesday. And then I wanted something Wednesday to Thursday. And I found one out of uh, West Virginia, which as we have, most of us know, West Virginia is not that hot of a market. So it was a good load. It was um, a short load up to somewhere in North Central Ohio. Um, would have been good enough to get me home. It was a CH Robinson load. It was I found it on Truck Smarter. It was posted for $710. And it was only, um, you know, like, 100, 200 miles. It wasn't very, it wasn't very long. It was, a, it was a short run. It was a light one, which is great because sick of those mountains. But um, I put a bit on there. I think that one by itself was three bucks a mile, three or three a mile or something like that. And I put a bit in there for eight hundred dollars. And usually when I put in a bit, I have to then switch over to their app to see if it was rejected, countered, accepted. So that's what I did. Immediately sent in the bid, went over to their app, and much to my surprise, it was accepted. And um, I tried to book it, and every time I would go through it, like, on their app you have to like assign driver and truck number when you're going to be empty, blah, 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 blah. So I put all that information in, and it tells you a countdown timer, like, oh, you have, you know, 15 minutes or whatever while this is still to accept this. So I went through it three different times, and they kept saying that there was something wrong. And I'll put a picture up of, because I took a screenshot of that, uh, telling me that I, I offer accepted $800, here's the load. I'll put a screenshot in there now. So you might have to pause the video on that, because I mean, the screenshot is vertical and this is horizontal, so. But you can see it in there. Um, now I didn't take a screenshot of the original offer because I didn't expect there to be an issue. It didn't seem that big of a deal. So after that would not go through, I'm sitting here thinking they booked it again or already. Someone else, even though it said that I had it. So I went back. Well, actually, I, I emailed my rep and I emailed support at Sage Robinson. And it's not my rep's fault. He wasn't even in yet. And um, the support people said, contact customer support. Like, is, isn't that what you are? So, not very helpful there. So, um, my rep finally does email me back and he says, This is booked. Well, they will know shit. But, so, I went back to Truck Smarter to see if it was still on there because it was telling me on the CH Robinson app that it's not. I went back there and it was reposted for $640. And then when you tap on it, it would tell you it's no longer available. And I took that screenshot too, so here's that one. So what it looks like to me is they either, the computer accepted my offer, someone didn't like that, rejected it, even though it didn't say it was rejected, reposted it for less than it was originally posted for, and then someone grabbed it immediately. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Uh, seems kind of shady. Seems like some bull crap to me. And my rep, all he did was say, "Oh, uh, you know, I got to do the State Farm thing. You know, you got to be quicker than that." So that just goes to show anyone else out here booking loads that y'all are just leaving money on the table. I mean, I know in this instance it was only $90, but if it was only $90 on this 
run that the computer accepted. Now the computer has a smaller margin of what it can accept versus a, a broker or an agent can accept. Imagine what it's doing on you know, longer, higher paying runs. How much money you are just leaving on the table because we have to, not we have to, but because drivers just book it immediately. They don't, they don't try to negotiate. They don't care how much money the broker is keeping. They just take it immediately for whatever it's posted for. And that right there is going to be the reason why so many carriers in 2023 go out of business. Mark my words right now. So anyway, this is just, you know, one example of the games that brokers play. And I hate to say it because I'm like, I'm not for regulating, but as truck drivers, we, you know, we are the most regulated people on the road. The government has their hands in everything we do. Speed limiters, how many hours you can work, all this bullshit. They have complete, they have their hands in everything. But why doesn't anyone have their hands in the people who give us the loads or we get the loads from they control the freight I feel like they need to be watched it's, it's just getting ridiculous and I get it that you know we're kind of forced into this honestly if you think about it we are majority of us are some sort of debt slave and it's a genius system for them if you think about it because most truck drivers and owner operators have to run most not all, obviously. Some are better off than others. But most of us have to run. We have truck payments. We have trailer payments. We have, you know, maybe at home cars, credit cards, mortgages, all, all the stuff we need to pay. So people have to run. We can't, which keeps us from being able to do what we can do. Because right, right now, what can we do against these brokers? Not a damn thing. We can't do anything. We're too... You know, solo, independent, self-centered, whatever you want to call it, you know, dependent on having to run. That we can't say anything, we can't do anything. The majority, enough of people, in order to make a difference. So, I mean, until something changes, I don't know what we can do. We can't get enough truck drivers to boycott, or you know, not accept loads for this, or you know, don't just accept for what is posted for you know don't run on certain days we don't have enough to do that we don't it's, it's sad but it's true so all I can do is I'm gonna put it put the information out there share it with you guys so you can see your experiences we can share experiences maybe we can get a cult following around here and uh, maybe we can be able to do something so hey guys share this video like this video subscribe to the channel comment down below you know your experiences or what ideas you might have and uh keep you guys posted we'll see you in the next one gotta be like gotta be playing these broker games see ya